Hello there everyone, Twin Game Collector here, bringing you another LEGO set. Today we'll be looking at the LEGO Star Wars Boba Fett Starship. Or the Slave One, whatever you want to call it. I don't care what you call it. I'm calling this Boba Fett Starship in this case. Because there was a LEGO Slave One already last year. So, <laughs> yeah, I can understand why they didn't want to call it that again. Yeah, this set retails for around... $50, I believe. I don't remember the exact price. Comes with two figures of Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. If you, haven't if you can't tell already, this is based off the Mandalorian TV show, season two to be exact, where Boba Fett made his appearance. Look at the box. One thing I will not be showing off in this video is this stand right here, because I can't find it at the moment. Uh, maybe that'll change later in the video, but I don't know. Here we have some features of the starship. There's the slave one right there, Boba Fett can sit in it. Before we go over the ship, let's look at the minifigures. Here we have Boba Fett. Yeah, one of the most popular Star Wars characters. For whatever reason, I don't know. Yep, this is his Mandalorian appearance. This is, he has this black armor right here. He has a removable helmet, this is face. Yeah, he's definitely showing his age by, by the point of the show. He, has, he comes with a jetpack and a cool looking blaster rifle. Yep, the main complaints I've seen about this Boba Fett is his jetpack and helmet are not the same color as as his armor there. I personally don't care. But I know that is bothersome to some people. I'm just happy to have another Boba Fett, because I'll be honest, I used to have the the 20th anniversary slave one, but when I heard they were making this, I sold that one. I didn't really like that one. I never really wanted to buy it. The only reason I bought that one is because I wanted the Princess Leia 20th anniversary minifigure, which I have. It's uh, in storage right now. I, th I just thought that slave one was too big and I didn't have a place to display it. That's why I like these smaller sets. You know, less space. Now next we have the Mandalorian. This is the best Scar Mandalorian we saw back on Trouble on Tatooine back in March. Comes with a small little blaster. And he comes with the best Scar Spear. And as always, he does not have a, fa a face print. I know that's a, I know that's a bot that bothers some people, but let's be honest, the Mandalorian doesn't really show his face that much, so, so yeah, this this works fine what for what it is. Now, Boba Fett takes off his helmet. The Mandalorian doesn't do that very often. And finally, I guess we should go over this. Here we have a Gamorian Garden Carbonite. Why a Gamorian Garden Carbonite? That hasn't appeared on the show in any way, shape, or form. I don't know, maybe that'll happen in the Book of Boba Fett. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe if Boba shows up in Season 3, it'll be there. I have no idea. Yeah, this reminds me what the Lego Carbonite blocks used to look like. Yeah, they looked something like this, I believe. Well, enough about that. Let's go on to the actual ship, shall we? Okay, and here we have Boba Fett's starship. Or the Slave One. Now, for the sake of this video, I'll just call it the Slave One. Because that, that, that's what it's always been called. And, what do you know? I found the little little thing I said I wasn't going to show. I found it. I'll go over that soon. So here we have the ship. Obviously, it's a lot smaller than the 2019 Slave One. But, that, but I like it. It has a charm to it. Much more affordable than the 120 that one was asking. Yeah, it's a it's an all right looking ship. I've never been a f big fan of this ship, but for what this is trying to be, I like it. it. Brings me back to the old days, back when the slave one used to be Lego say used to be small. Has some stud shooters right here. Fire some lasers. Has some cannons right here. They are very fragile. I will say these little tips come off pretty easily. Yep. Yeah. These little parts of the wings, they go up and down depending on how you're holding the ship. 
Got Boba Fett in there. Cockpit opens. Somewhat difficult. It's not that hard to close, but it can be troublesome at times. In my opinion, anyway. Here's the back of the ship. One thing I really like is... Let me get this out. Hang on. One thing I really like is it comes with a small handle. That's good. It's one thing I did enjoy about the 20th Anniversary Slave one. Yes, this is a pretty small set, but it's nice to have a handle. Gotta have a handle for something like this. This part opens up. You can put the carbonite block in there. Uh, not much else. Now let's go over this thing. Yeah, this, uh, this is like a little thing added for value. You know, people may not like stuff like this, but I do. Put a figure here, pretend to drive it around. There's a ladder to pretend Boba Fett's climbing into the ship. Somehow. But yeah, this also acts as a display stand. It's not, for many people, this probably won't be like the best display stand or whatever. But it works. Like, like I've had this thing sitting on this thing for days and nothing's happened to it. <laughs> it's not that hard to put on. Now, final thoughts. I really enjoy this set. If you don't have a Lego Slave 1 yet, go ahead and get it. It's brand new. It's available for, it's available right now. It just came out. $50, I believe. I could be wrong. Maybe it was $40. i am going to say it was $50. Hmm. Yeah. But only if you don't have a, a Slave 1 yet, or if you don't have a Boba Fett. It's a nice way to get him. Well, that about wraps things up here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toy Game Collector signing off.